Seeing the truth about light pollution. Our sky at night is wondrous and amazing. From the satellites pulsating brightly as they streak across the sky to the glow of cities on the horizon. Technology seems to have no limits, but what have we sacrificed? More than 100 years ago, in London and New York, the world's two largest cities, you could walk outside at night and see the Milky Way galaxy arc across the sky. Today, however, the average person needs to drive almost 60 miles in order to be able to observe the night sky as it once was. But why is this? The difference in brightness levels of lights from the late 19th century and 2021 paints a clear picture. In New York City during 1891, more than 50,000 gas street lamps were lit at night, producing roughly 500 lumens of light each, a total of about 25 million lumens. Compare this to the more than 3 million high-intensity LED bulbs producing almost 5,000 lumens each in the New York metro area, totaling about 15 billion lumens. That's a 60,000% increase. Imagine this multiplied throughout the world's cities and picture the results. But it doesn't stop at light. What about the power they need? This is where technology is helping. Incandescent, first generation, developed in 1879, 90% energy lost as heat, 100 watts equals 1600 lumens. CFL, second generation, developed in 1976, 10% energy lost as heat, 27 watts equals 1,600 lumens. LED, third generation, developed in 1978, the modern design, 7% energy lost as heat, 18 watts equals 1,600 lumens. Powering a single 100 watt bulb continuously for a year takes 876 kilowatt hours and uses 325 kilograms of coal. If we calculate the savings from switching incandescent to LED, we get the following. 100 watts over 18 watts, which equals 5.55 times more efficient, which also equals almost 4,000 pounds or 1,800 kilograms of coal which is saved. Did you know that coal powers 62% of the world's electricity? So remember, if you feel like being lazy and leaving that light on when you go to bed or heading out to work, that measly light being on for 8 hours is equivalent to just over 5 pounds of coal being needlessly burned. The great news about light is it's one of the easiest pollutions to dramatically reduce the effects of. Along with personal goals of saving energy, many governments are passing legislations that require installation of shielded light fixtures that emit light only downward, while other laws require the use of low glare or low voltage lighting. This law alone reduces light pollution by almost 65%. Across the United States, there are 21 individual state mandates that limit the brightness or type of bulbs being used. In January 2019, the European Union passed its own wide-ranging legislation to reduce light pollution which affects over 99% of its population. Humanity may not be able to solve the problem but making smart and educated decisions is key to reducing the amount of light pollution in our beautiful night sky. We discussed light pollution and how it affects humans, but what about animals? Subscribe and join us on our journey as we dive into light, noise, plastics and many types of pollution to see how they affect the varieties of life on Earth. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.